the idea that I might uh, be replaced by a machine is not peren- not always prominent, and I don't think it's particularly prominent now, despite all the talk about artificial intelligence. But it does at times uh, seem to affect people's judgments about whether to spend or invest. Notably, the Great Depression. That was a period when there was a lot of fear of robots replacing jobs. And as I show in my book, lots of people thought that was a real thing. It obviously was not. Uh, but if you, if, you, if you look at newspapers of the day, that was a dominant story. And then, then let's get back to thinking about decisions. Uh, if you interpret the high unemployment of the Great Depression as possibly due to uh, technological unemployment, isn't that going to aff- why wouldn't that affect your decisions? Whether to, let's take a big vacation <laughs> right now, and uh, uh, or buy a f- uh, not, uh, buy two cars instead of one, uh, you y- you would want to save more because you you think you have a bigger cushion. That's rational response to such a narrative. So we know that the narrative was prominent, and we know what a rational response would be to the narrative. So why are we doubting that it was important at that time? And I think now the artificial intelligence narrative may become more ominous if we hit another recession. Then there will be people saying it's due to machines. And then there won't be any way to prove they're wrong.